Have you ever asked yourself, how do libraries cover their soft cover books with that sheet of plastic? Today, I'm going to teach you how to do that in the way that I think is the simplest way. My name is Isabel, and let's go ahead and get started. To cover books, you only need four items. A pair of scissors, a bone, and a roll of contact paper. Today, I am using Demco contact paper. Lastly, you of course need the book, and today we'll be covering Days of Awe by Lauren Fox. To start covering a book, you're going to take your book and lay it flat. You are then going to take your contact paper, and you are going to measure it out just to make sure that you have got one inch of contact paper around every edge of the book. The nice thing about contact paper is there are typically lines that you can cut across so you can make sure to get a very straight line. After doing that, we are going to then take the contact paper and peel it back. I just peel it a bit back enough so that I can get just the edge of the book onto the contact paper. flatten that out and then you're going to take your book and you are going to lay it on the contact paper just a little tiny edge so then what I do is I'm going to flatten that down using my hand to make sure that the contact paper sticks to the book the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the, my book is not going to run off the contact paper when I start covering and it looks like we are okay to go then what we're going to do is we are going to flip our book over just like this and then we are going to grab our bone and we are just going to slowly start pushing the air out of our book just like that. Now typically what I do is I slowly pull the backing of the contact paper off of my book and then I just work my bone right in there just like that and then once you get a good start you can typically go pretty fast and you can just push out all the air from between your contact paper and the book just like that then once you get done with one side of the book you're going to want to make sure that you tuck this contact paper really well on the spine the spine is the area where the contact paper is least likely to stick because it's such a small surface area. So what you're going to want to do is make sure before you start covering the other side that your contact paper is on this spine very well. And it looks like we've, did, we've done a good job. So then what we're going to do is we are going to tuck the contact paper to start sticking on the other side of the book, just like that. And then we are going to take our bone again and just keep pressing the air out. And then once again you can go pretty fast once you get it started. And there you go, the hard part is done. All you're going to do is remove the backing of your contact paper just like this. And then you have got this beautiful book that is pretty much almost done. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you are going to cut slits near the spine of the book on all sides. And then you are going to cut the corners off your contact paper. When you do this you want to make sure you are very careful to not cut the corner of the book. So then you're just going to discard that contact paper. Do the, thing, the same to the other side. just like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to tuck the contact paper just under the book and flatten it on the other side of the cover. Just like that. I usually use my fingers to start because it's easier and then I go in with a bone to make sure I really have gotten all the air out of it. And then you're just going to repeat that step for the other flaps of your book. like that. 
we're gonna do one more. And then you're gonna repeat the steps for the other side of the book. So you're gonna cut the corners off. And then you're gonna cut slits near the spine. Tuck them under once more. and then we are on to our last step of the process. So you see these little flaps of contact paper? All you're gonna do is take your scissors and you are just going to glide them along that line and slice that contact paper right off. And there you have it, a beautifully covered soft cover book, just like they do in libraries. There you go, that's how you cover a soft cover book, just like they do in libraries. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you try this at home and how it goes for you.